Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're gonna to be talking about more creepy moments on TV. And this first creepy moment involves one of my biggest fears, and that is earthquakes. So in 1989, there was an earthquake in San Francisco that was massive. It's commonly referred to as the 1989 World Series earthquake because it happened during the World Series. And it's the first time that there's ever been a big earthquake while it was also being televised on national TV. So the clip I'm about to show you is pretty creepy. Basically during the game, the guys are talking about what's going on and then the earthquake comes and then it just cuts to a picture. Check it out. Maldonado with the hesitation, allowing Jose Canseco to score, and he fails to get Dave Parker at second base, so the Oakland A's take, take. I'll tell you what, we're having a real. I know, that was like, out of a movie or something. Well then the sound came back, and you can hear everybody in the crowd screaming. Check it out. So that's the only televised footage of the earthquake, but a lot of people were filming on home video cameras and stuff all around the city, and I have some of those clips, and they are fucking creepy. This first clip is from a classroom where a teacher was teaching her lesson when the earthquake hit. And they have a candidate who's very strong and is fighting with us for second place. <laughs> This next clip is from another school where they're playing in the gym. Check it out. This clip is probably the most unsettling of all. This was taking place at a children's birthday party. So when it starts, you can see a kid stuck underneath like a play car, and then it just gets fucked up. <laughs> So this earthquake was massive. It caused over $5 billion of damage. Houses were destroyed, malls were completely torn up, roads crumbled, but luckily not that many people died, only 67 in total, which is a lot, but could have been a lot worse. So this next moment on TV actually involves Donald Trump. <laughs> Enough said, right? It is so fucking creepy, and creepy for a different reason. Just, just watch. I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her, you know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, Donald says some crazy shit, obviously, but to say that you would fuck your daughter is... that's next level. I could probably do a whole video of all the crazy, creepy shit Donald Trump has said on TV, but we ain't have time for that. And I don't want to get political. I don't even know if I'm Republican or Democrat or any of that shit, but uh, yeah, let's move on. So reality shows can go really wrong really fast, mainly because sometimes they don't really do great background checks of people. You could have somebody who's literally insane and could be in a house living with people and just snap. Or you could have somebody that's literally insane and then once the show's over, they can snap. And unfortunately, that is what happened here. So there was a show in 2009 called Megan Wants a Millionaire. It was a show about a ditzy girl who was trying to find the guy of her dreams. So she had a bunch of millionaires come to this big house and fight for her love. It was actually a pretty funny show, but unfortunately it only lasted a few episodes because it was canceled after one of the former contestants killed their girlfriends. On August 15th of 2009, a woman named Jasmine Flores body was found shoved into a suitcase. Her body had been beaten and crushed and mutilated beyond recognition. The killer took off her fingernails, took out her teeth, did anything he could so that the police could not identify her. And then he shoved her into a suitcase and threw her into a dumpster. That's literally the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. And the only way the police actually could identify her was by taking out her breast implants and looking at the serial number and then tracing it back from that. Well, all the evidence pointed to a man named Ryan Jenkins, who is currently on the show, Megan wants a millionaire. Well, a couple days later when the police went to question him, they found his dead body because he killed himself. And then right after that, the show was canceled but you can still see clips of it online and you can see him on the show, which is so disturbing because you're watching it and you're like, oh my God, that guy is going to kill somebody 
in the most brutal way possible. Now this next creepy moment did happen on camera, and I'm just gonna warn you, it's pretty gross. So 16 years ago, Survivor went to the Outback. They were in Australia, it was beautiful. It's probably one of the most popular seasons there's been. And one of the reasons it's the most famous is because one of the contestants fell into a fire. His name is Michael Scoopin, and here is him after he fell into the fire, ran to the water, and just watch. You okay? Oh! He's burnt. He's burnt pretty bad, Terry. Here's the water. Get away. What happened? Passed out. Passed out. Fell in the fire. Stay in the water. Stay in the water. Okay, now this next part is very, very gross. So if you're squeamish, just close your eyes for a second. So you can see the burns on his face and his chest, but when he pulls his hands out of the water, you can see his skin literally falling off. Just check it out. Look at these things. Oh, oh keep my. your hands in the oh water. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> God, ah, ah, that's why I don't watch these shows. Oh my God, ah, let's move on. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about isn't really creepy, it's more uncomfortable and weird, and that is the famous psychic Sylvia Brown fucking up on national TV. So Sylvia Brown was one of the most famous psychics in the world. She had best-selling books. She was always on talk shows talking to people and giving readings. She charged so much money to have readings with people and like give them advice on their life. She really was like the shit when it came to psychics. Well then she had a couple moments on TV that made people question whether or not she was real. Just check out this first one on Montel. You had a question for Sylvia about your daughter Michelle? My Thank daughter you. Michelle was 17 years old. Um, she'll be gone five years, the 21st of this year. Uh, Sylvia, I don't know how she died. Please, if you can, how did she die? She was shot. Circumstances around her death? She just collapsed in her room. I don't know, but something looks like it hit the chest. Yeah, so after she fucked up, she tried to like backtrack. It didn't work. Because it looked no like a, a combustion. They found nothing the on the or or top. I don't care, nothing. but it looks like something hit her in the chest. They, they did an autopsy, they did drug, you know, they do whatever Everything. they do. It's just she was a healthy child and no. Uh, she was in her. Just fell out in her just room. Just went out. like a yeah. golf club's fall or whatever. I know, just, just went down. Yeah. I don't know, but there was something that hit her in the chest. And then she fucked up again, this time even worse. I lost my boyfriend tragically um, a few years ago. They never found him. And I've had such a hard time since every day. The reason why you didn't find him is because he's in water. And find him in water, it's like the girl that's missing in Aruba. You can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no, he was a fireman. And then once again, she tries to backtrack and just fucks up even more. Is there any way he could have drowned in water some way? They never found a piece of him. Nothing. But this next moment she had is probably the worst and definitely something that left people really pissed off. So she had a live show and one of the viewers stood up and asked a question about her son. Her son was in the hospital with a sickness and they told him that he was probably going to die. So basically she had a choice. Did she want him to die in the hospital or did she want to bring him home so he could die with his family? So she asked Sylvia Brown. My number was the first one picked and I was so excited. Unbelievable. Told him my son was dying and I was wanting to know if he was going to live. And she matter-of-factly said, yes, he's going to live. My son is in the hospital. I'm the first one. And we know that anyway, that people will save him. Yeah, they will save him. Brown told her that Mark would get a miraculous treatment and would be better by the end of the month, that Flans should not bring him home for hospice care, but leave him in the hospital. I wasn't sent home with hospice. No, keep him there for a while. So Sylvia Brown basically told her, no, don't take him home, everything's gonna be fine. She even said this. I don't give a damn what the doctors say, Brown told Flans. Your son will survive. Well, Sylvia Brown was wrong, and he did die. And he died in the hospital, and not at home like he wanted. Two days later, Mark was dead. Mark didn't want to die in the hospital. He wanted to go home. And Sylvia Brown told us that he was going to live to the end of the month and he'd get better. So this woman believed her and she was wrong because 
probably was not real. And Sylvia Brown had many cases like this where people said that she fucked up their life, all of her advice was wrong, she predicted things that never happened, she just had a bad track record. Oof, but seeing her fuck up on TV, like that was just so uncomfortable. So this last moment we're gonna talk about is very graphic, um, so I'm just warning you, you're gonna see some blood. And that was on an episode of Cheaters where the host got stabbed. So Cheaters was a show where you would go on it if you thought your spouse was cheating on you, and then the host would take you and like you'd find your spouse fucking somebody else, and there'd be a big altercation, and I don't know, it was a trashy show, but I kinda liked it. I can't believe you did this to me! I can't believe you did this to Zane! You did it to Zane! I didn't do to Zane! You didn't even tell me who the you really were! You know, you're not even really who you say you are! Well, on one episode in 2003, the host Joey Greco got more than he bargained for when the man they were confronting stabbed him. The locks are gonna be changed. Will y'all please back up and get off my boat, Irene? Nope. I still see y'all standing me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to back up. Y'all No! You up, bitch! Stop! Stop, bitch! Get my bitch! Stop! Put your hands on your back. Put them back easy. We got him. Put back easy. Put him back easy. All right, now. No, you all right? Come on. He's bleeding. Oh, oh my God. Come on. Come on. Easy, easy. Get him out of here. Come on. Oh, my God. What's wrong with you, Mitchell? You're not going to see me anymore. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Leave him here. Take this guy here. Yeah. Does anybody here know first aid? Yeah, I told you it was gonna be graphic. Well, after they show him sitting there in the boat with blood coming out of his stomach, then they cut to him getting into an ambulance and it gets even more disturbing. Joey, stay with me. I need you to stay as conscious as possible, okay? It was definitely the first time I think on TV you saw somebody get stabbed. Definitely the first time on a reality show. But the crazy thing is, the show wasn't canceled after that. It went on for like many more seasons. But luckily, Joey didn't get stabbed again, so congrats. Well, there you guys go. Those are some creepy moments that happened on TV. Hopefully you enjoyed those, or hopefully you didn't. If you want more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below, because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see more creepy moments on TV or more of my creepy videos, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you guys, I will see you creeps tomorrow. Watch out. Bye. First, oh god. Oh, I forgot how much I ate shit on my face. Oh! Oh my god, smile and pretend like you love him. Oh, thank you for this. Oh, what am I, girl? Oh, no, I love you too. This is great. <laughs> so many memories.